Hello from Disney's Animal Kingdom Lodge where we are about to head down and have dinner at Boma. This is a fantastic restaurant. We did it around this time last year and just absolutely love the dinner here. I had the breakfast here a few months ago as well and that's pretty good too but I'm excited to have an all you care to enjoy dinner. an all-you-care-to-enjoy buffet-style restaurant, so I'm going to try to get some small portions of lots of different things so I can share as much as possible. Courtney is also going to be getting a lot of the meat items because she eats meat and I don't eat meat. So we're going to try to give you a really balanced look at as much as possible here in Boma. The first thing I'm gonna try is one of their signature dishes. This is a sweet corn pudding that has a special jam and some spinach in it. This was the first thing that our server told us we had to try, so. Okay, it's unique. It is sweet. It's not like ridiculously sweet or anything, but the sweet corn mixed with the jam definitely tastes different than it looks. <laughs> It's a nice light way to start an all-you-care-to-enjoy meal. So, I'm probably not going to get seconds of it or anything. I'm not in love with it, but I think a lot of people might really, really like it. I'm going to move on to the West African Black Eyed Peas. If I remember correctly, I did really like these the last time I was here for dinner. Mm. Very earthy. You taste everything, but like in a, in a good way. You taste all the different earthy flavors, but Yeah, I don't think kids would like this very much, but I think most adults would really, really like it. 
crispy is the best way I could describe it though. I'm gonna try the olive oil potatoes. You know, potatoes can make or break a restaurant for me, so. These are really, really good. The olive oil is pretty strong on them. They keep the skin on the potato, which is unique. I know some people like it, some people don't. I certainly like it in these. And now I am going to move over to this refreshing dish. I'm gonna try to get this right. Avocado, papaya, and grapefruit. Just trying to remember the three that were in there. So, not something I would have put together, you know, not three flavors I would have put together on my own. But let's give it a try. Mm. Yeah, that's darn good. I find that when you do all you care to enjoy, especially if you're a person who likes to get their money's worth, you eat a lot. So, you wanna do lighter things, things that don't make you feel bogged down in your stomach. And this is really nice and light and refreshing and... Mm. This is my favorite thing thus far. However, what I remember from the last time I was here for dinner, it is time for what was my favorite thing the last time, and I hope it's the same, and that is this pasta salad. I just remember absolutely loving this last time. Mm. It's awesome. It is an absolute 10 out of 10. It is so good. Love this pasta salad. Refreshing. It's got some interesting curry, Indian, African, Middle Eastern flavors. Fresh vegetables cut up in there. Somebody just dropped their entire dish. That's how good this was for them. <laughs> um, it's just really, really a great item. So I would suggest getting this. Gonna finish what we have for this first round, and then we're gonna go and try some more things and let's try to take our time. So the signature seafood stew was good. I would say it's a little more on the salty side and had a little bit of a spicy kick to it. I liked it, but I didn't eat a lot of it. The salmon is fantastic in my opinion. It's baked, it's very meaty, it has some almonds with it, and it's just perfect texture, perfect flavor, all of that. Then there's signature fufu, which is a blend of some sweet potatoes and other types of potatoes. I like that as well. It's sweet without being too sweet, and it's a little festive because it has some cinnamon and nutmeg and those type of spices. making our way up and down the Boma Buffet. 
And now I'm gonna try some more unique items here. This is one that is a specialty. It's the North African cauliflower salad. And I have a feeling I will either love this or I'll take one bite out of it and be disgusted. And I don't think there's really gonna be any in between on it. <laughs> this is a tricky buffet because so many of these items don't feel heavy. But I know every little bite is filling me up so I can't get the next thing. <laughs> but this is really airy and fresh and light. It's just very, very light. And you don't want to feel gross when you're eating this much food. There are raisins in with it, so that makes it just a tiny bit sweet, but it's not like a dessert. It's definitely, yeah, that's really good. This is Spice Cottage Cheese with a pineapple chutney. I really don't know how I'm going to like this one. Okay. The pineapple chutney is strong. The spice comes back after you've tasted the chutney. So it's boom, chutney flavor hits, then a little bit of spice. It's just there to bring back the flavor of the chutney. And the cottage cheese, you basically don't even taste it. It's all the chutney and then followed by the spice. That's really, really good. Almost a dessert, even though it's not in the dessert section. And then I got a salad, but I tried to get the most specialty dressing possible. And this has South African lentils and some cilantro, and it's a buttermilk dressing. Mm. I wasn't sure how this helping was gonna be for me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like anything I got. And I love all three items. Boma is a really, really good dining location. When you talk about buffet style at Disney, there's a lot of quality stuff here. So these are the three desserts I cannot have today because they all contain gelatin. And I'm gonna have a little story about that in a second. But Courtney is gonna try all of them. There's the famous zebra dome. And then the coffee tart and a passion fruit tart. The last time we were here, I had so many of these coffee tarts and I did not know. I knew that the zebra domes had gelatin, but I was not aware that there is gelatin in the coffee tart. And the server told Courtney, and Courtney had to decide if she wanted to tell me, and she did tell me. So now I can't have them, and that's kind of upsetting, but she'll try these three desserts. So 
our server is Kevin from Rock Island, Illinois, and he just went above and beyond the call of duty. I told you that the coffee tart that I have absolutely loved, now I find out it has gelatin in it, so I can't eat it anymore, which is super unfortunate, and that's, we found out because Kevin told us, but then he was so kind as to bring out this completely plant-based dessert platter. And the first thing I'm gonna try from it is this sherbet because it is melting here. Mm. Considering that this is plant-based, it is very, very creamy. Mm. The fruit flavor is just popping out really, really hard. Mm. Yeah, that's really, really good. And we got cookie. able to have chocolate chip cookies because like I said I'm not vegan I'm just vegetarian <laughs> this is very very dry I very much appreciate how much Kevin did and I'm gonna try all these desserts for you um, that cookie was dry. This one he said was his favorite. And it's the triangle here. It looks like it's more of a brownie. Okay, this is really good. hard time pinpointing the flavor. I think there is some coffee in it, but it's more chocolate than coffee, but there is definitely, yeah. I understand why he said that was his favorite. And I have this little guy right here, which appears to be like another style of brownie. Not a lot of flavor there, but it's fine. Maybe a little chalky. And then these little cupcakes. vegetarian or vegan, I think we can say get the three gelatin-based desserts. The coffee tart, the passion fruit tart, and the zebra dome. Courtney has had all three, and I believe she has liked all three to loved all three. If you're a vegetarian and you can't have gelatin, get the cookies, Get the little brownie that you saw on the plate that sort of has the zebra stick coming out of it. Then if you are plant-based, maybe ask for the sherbet and a little triangle brownie. <laughs> But the other ones are pretty bland and pretty dry and not that great. But I want to give Kevin from Rock Island, Illinois, 
a huge cast compliment for even bringing out these desserts. It really, really was him going above and beyond the call of duty. So um, that was great, and I really appreciate it. It's the kind of service that keeps us coming back to Walt Disney World time and time again to do these meals. I wanted to quickly pick up a few of the items that I liked, just try them a little bit a second time, but I did get two items that I had not gotten yet today, so I thought I would share them with you right now. The first one is the chickpea salad. I think this is gonna be pretty self-explanatory, but it looks pretty good. I like chickpeas. This is a lot better than I thought. Mm. It's like a really fresh kind of pasta salad, but it is a little different because of those chickpeas. The vegetables, just the perfect size and just cut up really, really well. The other thing I wanted to get is to show you that maybe you don't have an adventurous eater in your group. You have somebody who isn't gonna try a chickpea salad or some of these things with curries. Well, they do have just chicken strips and mac and cheese. So I thought I would get the mac and cheese just to see if it's good, if I would recommend it. It's an okay passable macaroni and cheese, so if the rest of your party wants to try something a little different, but you have one person in the party who's not an adventurous eater, they can get the chicken strips, they can get a nice salad, a really, really good salad actually, and some mac and cheese, maybe some penne pasta, and anybody can eat here, adventurous, non-adventurous, you're gonna find something you like. All right, we ended up just chilling and hanging out for a very long time, even though we didn't actually eat all that much for an all-you-care-to-enjoy restaurant, but Boma is phenomenal. I definitely suggest the next time you're at Walt Disney World, especially if you do a rest day, make your rest day a day to come to Boma, make a reservation, and then hang out at Animal Kingdom Lodge before you eat or after you eat because you can see the animals on the savanna, get some good food. It is a really good time. Thank you so much. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.